What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Today we're going to be talking about things that I have to do and I have to prep before I go ahead and I lay some paint. This prepping includes setting up your gun, items that are needed, and also removing any water that might be in the compressor, which I'm going to show you how I do that. Before I forget, I'm going to show you guys all the different mix ratios and how to mix paint in here. Remember, safety first. Always protect yourself. So the first thing you're going to need is going to be a mask. Make sure you get yourself a good mask. Um, this one has disposable filters on both ends. So once they get clogged up and it gets harder to breathe, I'll go ahead and swap them out. A lot of these paints and a lot of these chemicals are very poisonous. So make sure you get yourself a good mask and protect yourself. Next thing on the list are gonna be gloves. Make sure that you have gloves, otherwise you'll end up like this with paint stuck all over your hand. Get yourself some paper towels for cleanup. And also, don't forget to get a tack cloth. You might need that later on. I have mineral spirits because I like to use the mineral spirits to clean the surface before I lay any paint. So I just use this to wipe everything down one final time before I hit it with the tack cloth. This right here is acetone. I use the acetone to clean my gun. I don't like to use the mineral spirits or anything else because the acetone is pretty strong and it gets it done very quickly. You're also gonna need some filters. So after you mix your paint, you're gonna take this filter and stick it in your gun on the top right here and then pour your paint right over that and that's gonna filter anything. Don't forget your mixing stick, and of course, your paint, whatever it is that you're using. Also, get yourself some plastic and cover up as many things as you can. Um, I'm using just some random stuff that I had laying around because you will get overspray, believe me. You will get overspray all over the place. So try to protect as many items as you can that are important to you. It is very important to get any water that's inside of this compressor out now before you lay paint. Otherwise, that water will travel, it will travel through the line onto your filter and it may make its way out the gun and out onto whatever it is that you're painting and then you're gonna have paint and water mixed together which is a no-go so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this compressor on and let it fill up all the way compressor is completely full so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna unplug it turn it off now we are gonna unplug it. And we are gonna take this outside because I'm gonna show you how to remove that water. Okay, the compressor's outside. Let me tell you guys that what I like to do is once I open the valve and the air starts coming out I like to shake the compressor because that makes it release more water for some reason which you guys will see in a few seconds so there's a little valve right under here and what you're gonna do is just release that valve seems like it's stuck All right, I'm gonna have to get some pliers so I can release that valve. All right, so I was able to crack it with some pliers. And now 
wash when I shake it. All right, so it's not really that bad. There's not a lot of water coming out. There's usually more water than what's here right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just let the whole thing drain out. And we'll come back to it in a little bit. Okay, so you guys can see that there's some liquid that came out. All of this is all liquid that was inside the compressor. So what I am gonna do now is I'm gonna leave that valve open overnight because I'm not painting until tomorrow. I'm gonna leave that valve open until morning. Therefore, releasing any moisture that might be in there still let's talk about mix ratios if you look at the cup you have many mix ratios on here you got the six to one the eight to one two to one four to one one to one and then on the other side right here you have measurements so you got ounces and then mls on this side so then you look at the mixing ratio this one calls for six to one to one and you wonder what the hell does that mean well this right here is a single stage paint and it tells you right on top eight parts paint one part hardener, one or two parts reducer. So you look right here, and this is the hardener, and this is the reducer. So what you wanna do is first, you wanna figure out how much paint are you gonna need. So I'm gonna pretend that this water bottle is my paint, right? And I'm gonna give you guys an example. So this paint calls for eight to one to one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the eight, which is right here, and we're gonna figure out how much paint we're gonna use first. So let's start pouring paint in. And right there we got enough for a fender, but then we remembered then we gotta do the other fender. So let's add some more paint, whatever we think we're gonna use. And we're gonna go up to an even, no even line, which is an even number. So like right here is a four. We're still using the same chart. So we went to the four, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the hardener and then you're gonna step it up to the next four with hardener, which is right there. And now you're gonna go ahead and add the reducer, which is gonna step it up to the next four. So whatever number you stop on here, so let's say that you start out with seven, you end up at seven. That's how much paint you're gonna use, right? So you stop there, you're ready to mix it. So now you stopped at seven, then you're gonna go to seven with the hardener, seven with the reducer. So whatever number you stop at, it's the same number that you gotta continue on the chart, going across, adding the next fluid. Same thing with all of these. You got your one to one, two to one, three to one. 
four to one. So whatever number you stop at, like this one's a seven right here, then you got the next seven up here and then right here. So whatever number you stop at is the number that you have to continue. So once you got it in there, you take your stick, you stir it up, and you're ready to drop it through the filter straight to your gun. Hopefully that makes it kind of easy to understand. So let's do a quick recap. And we got safety gear covered, items needed covered, uh, mixing ratios covered, and also removing water from your compressor. So now the only thing that's left is how to set up your gun, which I will show you right now. So you guys can obviously tell that it's not the same day. I'm wearing a different shirt and it is raining outside. So here what we have is a brand new gun. It's never been sprayed, it's never been used. It's brand new. I just received it in the mail five, ten minutes ago. Um, it came with the gun, some tools, little hardware, little filter, an Allen key, and the container that holds the paint. So before we set up this gun and prepare it to start painting with, the first thing we got to do is we got to clean it. Because what the warehouses like to do is they take their gun, they build it, and then they pack it with grease on the inside. So everything on the inside probably has grease. And that prevents any rust from forming while this is on the shelf ready to be, to be sold. So if it takes one or two years to sell this gun, it has to sit on a shelf. And to prevent the rust, they stuff it with all kinds of grease. So we're gonna go ahead, take it apart, throw it in here. We're gonna be using the acetone to wipe everything down and then we'll go ahead and set up our gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down this gun as much as I can using the tools that they provided. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the needle that runs all the way through and we'll see if it has any grease on it. So this obviously has grease, which is a spring. This is fine. This can stay like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just set that down. And now the needle, there's the needle and it does have grease on it. So there's a bunch of grease, nastiness on here. We're gonna go ahead and just drop it in here. The next thing we're gonna take apart is this tip right here. Wow, this is pretty nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that in because I see grease in there also. We're gonna have to scrub everything with this little brush. The next thing is we have to take this off So I'm going to go ahead, put this on here. We're going to drop this guy in. Remember how all this stuff goes. We're gonna go ahead and drop this one in. It looks like there might be one more right here. One more piece. See this one, I gotta be really careful that I don't lose this. Cause it looks like this little pin will come right off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just set that down right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean that out. All 
All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this on here and I'm gonna put a little bit of acetone so the acetone could go all the way out. You know what? I kind of screwed up because what you should have done is actually sprayed some acetone before this assembly. And once you spray the acetone, then you take it apart and you start cleaning it. All right, so I got the acetone through. I got my little brush all the way through. You guys could probably see it over here. If I spin this. Let's go ahead and clean everything pretty good. Because you definitely don't want to start painting with this grease in there. I went ahead and I cleaned everything off camera. So now we are pretty much ready to reassemble. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy first. Back where it was. This gasket is very sensitive. I want to make sure I don't end up breaking it by accident. All right. So then the second one is going to be this one right here. And make sure you guys assemble this correctly. So right now, I was trying to put it backwards this way, but it doesn't go that way. It actually goes this way. Make sure everything's nice and tight also, because you don't want to have a leak later on down the road when you're in the middle of your paint job. nice and tight this one's in my needle I'm gonna go ahead and push it through this guy can stay greased up because it's just a spring There you go. The gun is now ready to be set up to paint. Let's go ahead and adjust our gun and get it ready to spray. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up this gun at wide open. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna back this out all the way until it falls out like this. You're gonna push your trigger push this guy back in it's kind of tricky but there it is all right so I got this guy back in and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to tighten it let it go back in keep holding your trigger keep going until you feel that it got hard right there you could you could feel that it's not going to turn anymore it feels like that's the end of it but if you release your trigger you can still adjust it even more so that's called wide open so i did adjust it a little bit more forward so what i'm going to do is hold that trigger go back 
and adjust it back. So I'm holding the trigger. I back this guy out a bunch and we're gonna turn it until it stops. Right there, it stopped. I feel resistance right there. And then from there, from wide open, you could adjust it. If you wanted one turn, two turns, three turns. Um, I'll probably adjust it maybe one turn in. So right from where it is, the wide open, I'll probably go one right there and just leave it there, depending how it's spraying. The next thing we want to do is adjust this guy down here. This is your air adjustment valve down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it completely open because we want all this air to come through here. So now, right there, it's all the way open. So our air adjustment is good. Our fluid flow is good. The only thing that we have left is our fan adjustment which is this top lever right here um usually what i do is just back it out all the way and this is going to open up your fan so you can either open up your fan or you could go in all the way and close your fan and what that's going to do is that's going to spray into like a small little dot so if you go in if you tighten this in, it's going to turn into a small little dot, which is something you don't want. You want this fan to be wide and open. So you're going to adjust this all the way, back it out all the way. And then from there, you could give it one turn, two turns, as you test it out on something. And what you want, the shape that you want is a football shape. So when this is backed out all the way, it's just... It's just like this, like, like a shape, um, let's see, like a two by four. So imagine like, like spraying a two by four. So then what you wanna do is you wanna adjust this in a little bit so you could adjust those edges into that football shape as you do this. The more you do this, the more of a rounder shape you're gonna get until you get to your circle which you do not want so once again i'm gonna back this out all the way and maybe give it one two or three turns as i'm testing um once i achieve that football shape then i'm ready to start laying some paint also for this tip right here that you guys see right here i like to leave this kind of loose so I'll loosen it up, right there it's tying. I'll loosen it up just a little bit and then I'll tie it a little tiny bit where I can still spin this guy. There's a little bit of resistance on here. And what this allows me to do is I could either spray this way or I could turn this really quickly during my paint job and spray the other way. And if it was really loose, this would probably move around. So that's the reason why I say to tighten it just a little bit where it gives it resistance. But it's enough where you could quickly make the change during your paint job. Quickly adjust without wasting too much time. So I hope this helps somebody out adjusting the gun. And you guys understand what I was trying to show you guys. Um, with that being said, I will catch you guys on my next video. If you haven't subscribed, go down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.